Anissa, owner of this channel. So, long story short, one of the videos that I watch on YouTube are the designing of old characters. Either the characters don't belong to the owner, or they were given, or, you know, the old shenanigan. Now, one of the lewd ways to put it hit is called fixing. You don't fix someone's character, you redesign it. Fixing is insulting. Redesigning is okay. And I watch quite a few redesign videos and think, Oh, mm, that's some good content. What if someone could redesign my characters? Then I realized, why don't I just do it myself? So that's what this video is going to be about. Me looking through my files, finding three characters, at least, that I won't mind redesigning. First off is me, my character. I may still use her quite a lot, but I kind of wanted to change her up a bit more to closely resemble me in real life. I guess maybe I'll use this as, this as a Sonic Boom version. I swapped most of her clothes out except for the scarf. It is a signature piece after all. I changed up the gloves to look like the ones I wear in real life. And yes, I actually have the pair of those. The hair is based off my hair in real life. I always used to wear the plaid to school, even though I didn't like it at the time, but now that I'm out of school, I actually prefer this hairstyle. It doesn't have the pull on my head that if it's tied up, and my hair doesn't make my neck feel sweaty. The curl represents a piece of my hair that somehow always escapes no matter what. It's just... there. Got enough of every melody, they all sound the same. Yeah. For my broken heart, no remedy. But maybe if you stay, we can get away with it. Cause you make me love my imperfections, answer all my questions just to show me what's on the other side of inhibition. mood so I went with the purple background lights. It cuts on the cooling time so it's a benefit. Now if I'm going to be using this as a sonic boom design, I think I'll give myself a bit of a role to play. I look for myself somewhere in the mountains where I maintain a garden of chow, raising them and protecting them so that they can live peacefully. I also seem to like speaking to the water. I never usually go to the village until some of the chow go missing. When the sonic team finds me, I'm busy fighting Eggman trying to get the chow back. After the battle is won, I go home, only to find sticks following me. I eventually have to make a promise never to tell people where I live before letting her see my home and cha our haven, because the garden is also guarded by the ancient spirits, Chaos and Tikal. 
Next up is a character called Bella Aedas Decipher. Basically, I got the idea from taking Amy and making a Bill Cipher version of her. I'm not a fan of evil magic, and I'm on the fence about a story about fighting against little demons. But I kind of like the human bull designs I'm, I had, so I made Belle. She never had that much of a story, so I decided to tie my hand in making Belle actually look like she's based off Bill. I gave her the new hairstyle as an important feature, the corners of her quills and hair bangs form me a triangle shape, as a nod to Cypher himself. I moved Belle's bow over to the other side and gave her the skirt, as, as well as a new pair of shoes. of Iversaw one. I made a blue flame background because of the color of Bill's flames. I think in this case, instead of having evil goals, Bell is a simple nightmare hedgehog that likes to cause trouble in someone's mind for fun. She mostly does this to people like Sonic who have rational fears. Sonic's being heal of water, aka aquaphobia. In this case, he has a nightmare of floods. But if she's feeling nice, Bell will appear to someone and offer them something they'll really want. And she'll do it the right way. No tricks, no traps. But the consequence is that whoever she's offering this to, they can never unsee her and she'll come and bother them anytime she wants. They can't get rid of her or convince her to leave. And if they ever tell anyone, Bell makes the other person unable to believe them. She's not exactly a serious troublemaker, just a serious nuisance. Last but not least is a character called Anya Rose. Now here's a strange story. When I started YouTube, I had a series called Sister of Amy Rose, which I learned about was not a good idea, because I had a recolored image that was based off someone else's this actual art that they drew. I didn't want to get in trouble for this, so I took the series down. Anya was basically a real-life version of me that had, 
it was based off a picture of Amy in a black cloak. I thought that if any of my really old OCs needed a lead design, it's Anya. I lead designed her once, so I changed up the colours from that, and made them look more Amy-like. Then I worked them there. I gave her a p- uh, I gave her a ponytail and a few new clothing pieces and gave her boots similar to Amy's. I left a heart there as a nod to the picture I originally used. completely different from the original. She actually looks like Amy's sister. Now here's what I'm thinking. While she looks like it, she isn't your typical goth edgelord. She actually has a lot of combat skills which she learned from various trainers and mercenaries. She's skilled with various weapons but she prefers a sniper rifle, which hit, hit she uses mostly. I like playing a sniper roles as well. As well. When she meets Sonic and the gang, she quickly becomes good friends with them because of Amy, and becomes comfortable around them. But when she discovers about Amy's crush on Sonic, Anya gets overprotective and tries to get between them, telling Amy she's not old enough to have a boyfriend, while Amy starts complaining about how she would never leave Sonic's side. This of course causes some quarreling between the two sisters, and everyone agrees to convince Sonic not to get too close to Amy when Anya's around. And that was something new. I actually had fun. I hope I get to do something like this again someday. Maybe if I find any more of my old characters that I'd like to redesign, I'll make a part two. For now, peace out my little beans. <laughs> <laughs>